Town to kick off Grand Finals. Old Town, <laughs> map where uh, we saw a lot of players go off last time. And I expect the same right here in this game. You're going to see that massive battle over towards the B Hill. Detox is going to be one of the first ones in there. Player up ahead. He's going to go ahead and you know, fire a couple shots at him. But Rushies is going to be taken out. And I do believe that's a Vexies who was able to get that first elimination. Detox is already going to, he's just going to go ahead and push through. Yeah, and you see Detox heading over, toying with that A Hill right now. Three members are going to be down for Reciprocity. Franchise getting a couple engagements, gonna be taken out though. You see Rise Nation defending their hill and starting to move forward right now. I set on to Rushies. So Vex is unfortunately not able to get that elimination. You see Rushies as well as Resic able to get off Detox as well as the other. And in the meantime, Rise Nation, two players up, Drix and Shock. Four players from the team of Reciprocity are going to be pushing forward, trying to go big. But in the meantime, it's been the show of Reciprocity, up by 30 points and growing. They've been playing very well. So they're looking to hold down this neutral. You can see Rise Nation making their way over to B, trying to get that decap on the neutral. Two members are going to go down, though, for both teams. 3 v situation. Powers gets the decap on B, but two players are going to be in front of him. Team Fire coming in, going to look to pick up that first kill on the Sleepy Time. Sleepy Time is going to be taken very low, trying his best to back out. Not going to happen, though. Powers gets the quick LT over the cover, takes the first kill out. Two more members of Reciprocity will be pushing down this little kind of stair set right now. Powers holding down that left trigger. Two players in front of him. One misrolls. Smoke comes in, though. Icy taken down and finished. And Rise Nation is looking to secure that B hill and to secure the two cap. But they are down, like you said, 45 seconds. Awesome stuff coming in from Reciprocity. Still maintaining that control, at least from the earlier portion. You see Rise, you know, kind of taking over just a little bit. But in the meantime, though, I do believe Reciprocity will come through and maybe overtake uh, the B-Hill once again. Rushy's on your screen. He knows there's a couple players down below. Sleepy trying to get a little bit creative. He's over here pushing toward the C or the B-Hill from another angle. Smoke. Meantime, another player will in fact be pushing forward. He does get in a little skirmish, but he's going to back up from that engagement. And uh, it's business as usual. You do see Reciprocity, though, able to neutralize the B Hill. And it looks as if they're trying to retake it once again, but Rise Nation is fighting back. Yep. Two members now down for Rise Nation. 4v3 situation in favor of Reciprocity. They're looking to hold down that B. And like I said, they're down quite a bit of seconds. So I do think they're going to get that B Hill and then potentially make their way over towards Rise Nation's home hill. Let's see if they can win. Let's see if they, can win. they do not win on East. I think they can win on two. So I think that they should be good with this. Um, you know what? I'm flipped on my head right now. Right, yeah, Reciprocity. Yeah, Reciprocity. I was looking at the colors wrong. Sorry. Reciprocity has the two cap. Yeah, they yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I, I have my thing <laughs> I, was about to I say. apologize about that chat. I, that was that was a complete flip of the teams that I was looking at right there. Of course, Reciprocity is going to easily win that on two as they were up 45 with the two hills. So my mistake there. I got you, brother. Um, hey, it happens because you know, know the beginning, you know, colors were flipped off a little bit, but you know now we're yeah, back we, to normal and everything is copacetic. Reciprocity wins the first round over Rise Nation. And they are looking solid. Reciprocity, a team that I did predict to be in the finals. Uh, but Rise Nation, you know, making it there doesn't surprise me so much either. They're a talented team. Like you said, they have uh, they have played incredibly well throughout the really their entirety is a, is a history of a team. But with that being said, looks like the uh, first weapon could potentially be placed. And I do, but I can't see up there. Yeah, it's looking like they were tolling with putting a snipe okay, on back go. street and said they're going to look like they're going to potentially place nades on the middle. So it's not going to be, I mean, that's a pretty common placement. A lot of times, uh, you know, you basically come away with that fight with nades. The reason that nades can be so impactful in that middle side of the map is because it gives you the opportunity to throw nades over at those existing fights in back street and bell tower. So definitely look for players to maybe go for a, you know, a quick pick on those nades and then throw them over to that back street as that fight is going down for the B Hill. There we go. Middle might see. A lot of action. I thought I saw three people heading towards mid. Meanwhile, Rushy's going to be at Bravo. Smokes out. He doesn't get stunned. Luckily, he gets away. She misses the first shot, forced to back away. And unfortunately, that's going to end with his life. He's going to get taken out. Now, Detox with the meat shield will be firing some shots just up ahead, kind of being a nuisance and trying to get that B heal himself. And unfortunately, uh, he does get taken out. But luckily for him, he was able to take it over. Solid initial for Rise Nation. Yeah, I mean, four members going down very, very early. You see Rise Nation hopping right on to go for that trip cap. 
Looks like Icy's doing his best to stop them, though. Takes the kill onto Drix. Shock throwing the nade onto the home hill. Not going to get anyone. Doesn't look like anyone's trying to cap. But now you see the members of Reciprocity start to push through. They're going to look to full cap that C hill. So that's going to be kind of the, the best signifier that Rise Nation isn't going to get this trip cap yet. They double back, though. Get kill on Sleepy. Kill on the Rushies. Are they going to get this third kill onto Rezik and keep advancing? They're behind enemy lines right now. Icy does not see powers coming. Wow. But his teammate nades him. Yeah. It's all up to Icy. That, that's awesome. Icy has to go big and it's unfortunately not going to be able to. As you see, Rise Nation will, in fact, take over another round. We're going back and forth, much like we were seeing in the uh, High versus Rise match. I don't know how many, uh, how many more round 13s I can take, but I guess keep throwing them my way. Might as well have a, a phenomenal end to Emergence Days Week 1. Yeah, I mean, nothing wrong with maps going the distance, right? I, I love those pressure situations, those kind of different strategies that come into play when there's a round 13, right? There's, you know, do you throw a trick strat at him? Do you throw something different at him? Or do you just kind of play your game? It's always the fun part about those final rounds when the pressure's at its highest, but it looks like the snipe is going to be placed over at that back street. So it's another extra prize for the team that does come out on top in that fight. Let's go ahead and see how this initial starts to kind of play out. Looks like you're still going to see that sort of split. One player capping, two players middle, and two players over at B. And you see Detox once again, just like we saw him on the last time they played this map, uh, running right in there. Picks a sniper up and gets the headshot wow. onto Rush. He's over at B. Avexi's going to quickly get the back A onto Icy, and the B hill has been decisively won by Rise Nation. Now they're going to have that sniper to look across, look in the middle, look towards that home hill fight, and we are three members down for Reciprocity. Rezik getting tagged up in the process as well and Rise Nation is advancing on the map. They're pushing towards that A hill right now, and they're looking to finish this round early. Man, Detox has been that guy. He has been tearing it up ever since we started watching him. I mean, he is always the first one in, usually always the first one to get the snipe, uh, especially whenever we were watching him over here at Old Town. That Bravo site he was great at, but you see powers come through, goes, and gets a couple of eliminations, and all, along with Avexis, and there it is. Looks like it is, in fact, might going to be a triple cap in effect. Rise Nation looks like they are going to take the third round in uh, great form. That's 2-1. Now let's see if Reciprocity maybe looks to, to put another weapon down, maybe something over at Bell Tower. I don't think there's anything currently in play over there. Rise Nation seems to be having a pretty good job. Sorry, pre doing a pretty good job over at that B fight right now. Looks like they're just... Potentially toying with the secondaries, toying with Bell Tower. So instead of a power weapon, they're just going to throw an incend grenade there. So again, not really going to change the initial too much. I think you're still going to kind of see that one, two, two fight. And it, let's look at let's take a look at Detox again because he's been pretty aggressive jumping into that kind of pocket area with the weapon, uh, you know, getting an initial kill pretty early, and then you know pick out that sniper to potentially advance down over to help the Vexes. Yeah, let's get on board with Detox and see what he's going to be up to. Detox has had such great success in getting through here to get this sniper off the rip and uh, looks as if he's going to be able to do it again potentially but first he's got uh, some unfinished business to go through with and then there he is he's going to go and double Once back again. and easily gets it yeah detox I mean, is owning this part of the map he is the king of b right now coming away with snipe the past couple rounds you can see the kills coming in favor reciprocity on the other side so we're left with sort of a 2v2 situation as detox looks to kind of rotate that snipe over maybe get a Surprise headshot onto the player in the middle. I believe that is Rezik hiding behind that corner. So let's see if he waits him out and maybe gets that headshot because as Rezik tries to run away, more teammates from Rise Nation will be joining him. Just misses the body shot. He's just going to go ahead and chill out. In the meantime, though, Reciprocity taking advantage of at least a couple of the players from Rise Nation kind of, you know, hanging out. And you notice that they're going to be on Bravo and C. So reciprocity looking like they could potentially, you know, have a much better start than we they have initially had in the past two rounds and make a comeback possible to tie up this series. Detox, though, just missing the body of that player up ahead. And I believe that was Sleepy. And I believe he did connect with that shot. And he's going to continue to push forward. But I got to say, Detox's accuracy is pretty on point. He yeah, does make, been, he, ma he makes most use of the, of the sniper whenever he gets in his hands. Yeah, he's been a monster so far. We're looking like we're going to have three, maybe four members of Reciprocity taken down as Icy gets quickly picked up. It's going to be up to Rushies right now to equalize some of these numbers right now. Not going to happen, though. Detox, once again, is having a map. Gets the headshot on the franchise as well. And now it looks like they're going to be pushing up towards that C hill. But Sleepy Time is having none of it, doing his best to defend the hill. Now let's see. 
Rise Nation chooses next. They're going to pick up a second sniper, though. So now you're going to see a snipe in the hands of Powers. Let's see if Powers can live up to DDoX's name. Definitely possible nobody home as of yet. Meanwhile, DDoX is going to go ahead and push forward as well. You noticed the round did swing in favor of Rise. When at first it was to reciprocity, Rise always finds a way to wiggle back. And let's see where the retake comes in for reciprocity. You see Icy trying to push up towards B, going to get taken down. Power's going to take that snipe and look towards middle, but going to put it away to help his teammate out. Franchise gets the kill onto Shock. Power's equalized by taking him down. Two members are killed for each team. Rezik holding down that middle side. Power's still has that snipe, which is going to probably be a lot of trouble right now for reciprocity. Gets the body shot. Rezik taken down to only 18%. And gets the chunk on Rashis, who's pushing over the B-Hill. So Powers is just holding this whole spot down on his own. He's impacting other fights. He's holding down his hill, holding down his spot, and doing everything he can to keep his team on board with that advantage, which they are. Great team Great fire team coming player, in. Yeah. And Rise Nation looking poised to take a 3-1 lead on our first map of the Grand Finals. Yeah, that's a great way to start your finals off, especially with a 3-1 lead. Looking very solid overall. Reciprocity just can't get a foothold. You know, after that first round, they were looking incredibly solid, but now the time for the respawns are going up, and Rise Nation is slaying, slaying out. And Detox has been a major catalyst for that. Of Exus as well. Yeah, no. Looks like Reciprocity is forced to put something down at one of these secondaries right now. As we are in the fifth round, spawn timers start to get longer and longer. They're going to elect to put an X down over towards the secondaries next to the home hills. So once again, you're going to just see a, a very, very similar initial right now. And Rise Nation, man, is doing a fantastic job over at that B side of the map. Let's see if Reciprocity can do something maybe to turn the tides of that fight because it's been all rise so far. And of course, who else are we going to go on board with other than Detox? Rush, he's up ahead, no worries. He's gonna go ahead and dip off. Looks like he wants to go ahead and grab the sniper. Freely grabbing it over I mean, and over. Just, no one is challenging that. Avexis is in fact gonna be joining him. Icy on the right side. Oh and my yeah, God, easy Detox. Work. Detox is literally an animal at this point. Teammate gets mowed down, but you know what? Detox isn't worried about it. He's gonna go ahead and pull through. Sniper in hand. Misses the shot, unfortunately. One of maybe 10 he's missed. The trip cap already coming into effect. Rise Nation. Oh, luckily the rest oh, of the gets just the B cap. Yep, on the A, I mean, like I said, Detox once again doing a fantastic job getting that B, getting that snipe. But Reciprocity won the fight on the other side of the map. So that's going to make this round a lot more interesting, right? Because obviously uh, the three lane map, like Old Town is, there's just a lot of different power points. But the fact that Detox won the one with the hill on it is gonna give Rise Nation a very, very favorable lead when it comes to time, right? We see 72 to 16 in favor of Rise, and it's because they won this fight. This, this lane is the most important one on this first half. Ducks up ahead, knows there's a player just hanging out behind. That is Icy, who will get dropped himself, and that's gonna be three down for Reciprocity. Rise with only two up, but making the most of it. Look at the lead starting to get away from reciprocity. You notice about 80 point lead for Rise Nation and growing. And both teams looking to push each other's home hill right now to just kind of elongate the round, right? If you're reciprocity, you're trying everything to just desperately stop the bleeding. You're trying to just make sure you get as many decaps as you can. Try to just put the round back in your favor. Make the map frantic. They're doing just that. Franchise, Rezik, and Rush all get kills. Rushies picks up another kill onto Avexis. Just like that, four players are down for Rise Nation. It's up to Shock who picks up the first kill onto Rezik. But now reciprocity is hopping onto that B hill. Shock gets taken out, and we are going to have a trip cap come in for reciprocity while they are down a ton of points so that kind of double home hill decap that happened went towards reciprocity's favor they get a quick mid-round wipe and steal away round number five yeah i mean that's you talk about stealing it that's exactly what reciprocity just did it was totally in the hands of rise nation but a couple of eliminations go a long way right and then of course reciprocity capitalizes on that and comes back yeah so now we're gonna see the final placement of like we're put hammer bursts on the other secondaries so this whole first half, Taylor, has been a lot of the same in terms of that initial, right? It's been a lot of the similar fights. Um, you're seeing, obviously, Re Reciprocity do a lot better of a job on the middle side of the map. Meanwhile, Rise Nation doing a you know, better side towards that B-Hill. 
Let's see if maybe they start to change this up. Detox once again just jumping into that pocket however he wants, whenever he wants. Looks like Wreck has decided to push him this time, decided to make him a priority. Nice. And they get both Good kills counter. finally on the B side. But at the same time, now Rise Nation has chosen to win the middle fight. So the map has been flipped on its head as opposed to what we've seen so far. Another kill comes in from Franchise, and three members are dead for Rise Nation, two members taken out for Reciprocity. Let's see if Reciprocity can take this 3v2 advantage and make it a triple cap. Yeah, it's all about capitalizing if Reciprocity needs to do just that. Looks like the home hill will be captured, but you know, C is gonna come into effect as well for the home of Reciprocity, and that's gonna be a great start for them. But a much better start. I've been waiting for somebody to come through and encounter Detox because there's no reason why he's getting into B. He's controlling it so incredibly well and has free reign to the sniper every single time. So the fact that Reciprocity shut that down, you see how much better their initial start becomes. Yeah, definitely. Like I said, they prioritized Detox this time instead of his teammate. And that was, I mean, they did kill his teammate first, right, which made it a little easier to kill him. But you could definitely tell that Re uh, Reciprocity, I'm sorry, was pushing their players more towards that pocket, more towards that weapon, and it paid dividends. See the retake opportunity coming in for Rise Nation. Power throws a fantastic nade, takes out not only Icy's but Rushies along the way. Franchise doing his best to equalize the numbers with that incense kill, but Franchise gets taken out and Powers hits the nasty reaction shot on to Sleepy Time. It's all up to Rezik. Does get the first kill on Powers though? It's going to be a good way to kind of stop the bleeding. That C kill still isn't entirely decap, so if he can kind of waste a little more time, might give his teammates enough, but they uh, won't. Rise did, Nation yeah. will take him out. Get the triple and close out our first half with a score of four to two. Wow, a good placed grenade can go a long way, it seems. Four two as Rise Nation will be leading going into the flip. Look at Powers, 22 kills through six rounds, having an absolutely maniac performance. And, and yeah, we haven't talked much about him, right? But I mean, he has been dominating. He's almost been overshadowed by Detox, but I mean, Powers really kind of sliding under the radar, doing a phenomenal job. And, you know, he is one of the, the main reasons, the main catalyst as to why Rise is leading currently 4-2. to two. This initial is going to tell the tale. Will Rise Nation be up 5-2 to two or reciprocity bring it 3-4? Three to, three to four? Yeah, they definitely need to throw something different at him on the second half. Rise Nation had a lot of control kind of over that first half. Of course, the neutral hill being shoved across the map now. So definitely a different fight, different set of priorities. Bexy's going to get Ooh. first blood. Two kills, though, are going to be equalized over towards Wreck, but just like that, four, four down, members yeah. are down. Franchise is all that remains. Detox is going to cap that E-Hill. And you can see Fran just beelining it over towards the other home hill. You're seeing the home hills kind of flipped on their sides right now. Franchise holding down Rise Nation's home hill. Taking out Drix in the process while he gets away. So, I mean, if you're Franchise, that's a great play there. He takes the home hill, ends up even killing a player, and now he's going to be able to make his way towards that E-Hill and likely get the break on it. So Franchise, in two different ways, keeping his team alive in this round. Yeah, awesome job getting over there. I mean, you know, it only takes, you know, a couple of moments for the eliminations to swing your way. So the fact that uh, Franchise is able to keep them in the game is huge. Big fight coming on. Hopefully Franchise could be able to take it over. Unfortunately, he is not, uh, as Avexis is, is in fact going to be able to get that elimination. Reciprocity still, though, with two hills to their name. Rise Nation, though, fighting back. They have the man advantage, but the teammates that were up for Reciprocity were locking it down. Yeah, definitely are. We're seeing kind of the, the brawl going down towards the E hill starting to be broken a little bit. And end up backing off the reciprocity with numbers in their favor now picking up two kills looking to pick up a third and they do on to shock right now power's taken out as well and four members are dead for rise nation this is reciprocity's chance to go for a trip cap right now Drix taken out in the process a pretty short spawn so they're going to probably meet a vexies and detox in the process as they put two members over to a vexies take him out as well and Reciprocity is looking very, very poised to clean this round up right Whoa, now. Big push from Rise. They were all spawning up. Reciprocity did a phenomenal job handling it. And they, in fact, are going to now win round number seven to put them up three to four, or at least down just one round. But great fight back for Reciprocity. Could have got a little bit of out of hand, especially, you know, you start seeing the score at 5-2, and all of a sudden it's 6-2. And then at that point, you know your back is totally against the wall, and you've got to fight through. But awesome work. First weapon place is, in fact, going to be our sniper over there at the Bell Tower. So we'll, of course, probably be seeing Detox running over there. Yeah, once again, we're seeing the sniper place towards the side of the map where the kind of the fight for the neutral hill goes down. So basically, whatever team kind of gets out with that neutral hill is going to likely also get out with Snipe as well. So again, Old Town's a very unique map because it's just very, very um, 
I mean, obviously has height, height advantage, but it's just a very, very narrow three lanes, right? So um, not a lot of fluidity, a lot of, a lot of straight line fights. And so when you have that snipe, it, it, it allows you to shoot those other lanes on the map so, so effectively. So that snipe on this map to me is, is a lot more important than it can be on other maps. Great start for Ryzen, it seemed at least. I thought the E-Hill was gonna be locked down by him, but Reciprocity did a great job kind of, you know, fighting back. See everybody just trying to keep each other at bay. Rushy's known there's a couple of players just up ahead. Finally the push from Rice is gonna come in. Rushy's going on the attack. Manages to down one, chunks another, but gets chunked in the process as Icy, great job coming through and reciprocity. Trip cap in effect, and they get it relatively early on to tie up the game. 4-4. Yeah, great job by Reciprocity, just kind of waiting for Rise Nation, right? They saw them kind of start to make a very, very aggressive push, and they just waited for them to just jump right into their shotgun shot. So good patience by them. They cleaned up that fight, and again, they did obviously win those two fights over at the neutral or sorry, the home hills as well. So just an all-around good round played by Reciprocity as they equalize map number one. Yeah, awesome job. And, you know, Reciprocity fighting back just shows t the tenacity that they have to really want to make this work overall. Loving what I'm seeing. Now we're seeing the M-Bar placed in the middle now. It's going to be interesting. We're going to have the M-Bar and, and the sniper, sniper on yeah. the map at the same time. So a lot of precision weapons being put in the map. So that's going to definitely be fun to watch towards these mid-rounds. And let's see if that maybe, uh, I guess, spreads the fight out a little bit more, right? We saw a lot of players going over towards that E-Hill, but this M-Bar is something you cannot ignore. So let's see how it spreads the fight out. And Rushy's off to a fantastic start, picking up a double kill on Detox and Avexi's Shock, though, answers back by taking him out as well. The franchise Ooh. gonna equalize it. Trades come in. Powers takes out Rezik, and just a lot of back and forth, back and forth for these teams. Oh, Powers though, in. unfortunately, goes and miss rolls. Sleepy gonna take full advantage of that, and he's gonna walk away with the M bar. So neutral hill in Reciprocity's hands. Power up and control in their hands as oh. well as Sleepy Time. That's a nice shot on the detox. Looking to make a second one, not going to hit it. He's gonna take that M bar, rotate over to E as Rise Nation looks to decap it. Oh, wow. It, it, Rush Prost actually going full sin for the triple cap, unable to get it. Rush, he's on E. He's going to be there knowing that there's a player just up ahead. If he can get this elimination, they're going to be looking good. And yeah, the elimination does come in a sleepy time. Then Bar able to get that elimination. They do lose F in the process, but their positioning now is going to be great, and they could rack up a lot of points. Yeah, I mean, they have two hills, right? They got the D and E hill in their favor. Rise Nation has not capped the F hill, and Sleepy Time still has that M bar. So a lot of things looking good right now for Reciprocity. It's going to be up to them to kind of do what they're very, very good at doing, which is holding the fort down, right? Holding a setup and making teams pay. We're just now seeing Re uh, Rise Nation, I'm sorry, capping up that hill. So a 55 point lead and climbing for Reciprocity as they hold down that two hill. Ooh, power's coming straight into sleepy time. Will he be able to connect? And just misses. Goes ahead and rolls out of the way and awaits through the smoke. The opponents from Rise be pushing forward. Meanwhile, Rush, he's, he's going to go ahead and pick up the sniper for himself. Trying to see Reciprocity hold down that E hill. Three members go down, fourth one in their sights. Power's gonna be taken out as well. If Vexy's down to 31% health, if he goes down, this will surely be a trip cap for Reciprocity. Rez is gonna quickly try to land for him. It's not gonna happen. If Vexy's closes the gap and gets the chunk. The players on both sides of him sleepy, looking to hit him with the M bar. Break after break. Wreck, though, with about a almost a 100-point yeah. lead. They do go three down, though, so if you're Reciprocity, you have to just make sure that you hold down these hills, you spawn up, and you do not get five wiped. The last thing you want to do is throw away a 100-point lead this late into the game. Now Sleepy needs to go big in that situation. He had a player from Rise just up ahead of him. You're starting to hear the music. Reciprocity now just on the cusp of taking it, but you notice he has been neutralized and Rise Still, potential is out there for them to potentially do something crazy, but Rezik comes through, gets a nice two-piece. Gets taken out in return, but I think that's going to be enough. Reciprocity takes another round. Yeah, a little bit of a troll there by Rushies. Rewarding his teammate who had a fantastic play by just giving him the nice little team kill. And the second half has been all of Reciprocity right now as we have three rounds in the second half to only Rise Nations one. Definitely so. Reciprocity on the cusp of uh, actually no, I think actually wait, I think Rex won all three rounds in the second half so far. Oh, um, was, wasn't it four two? Yeah, I think it was actually four two Rise Nation in the first half. 
Yeah. Unless I'm completely cooked, which, hey, you know. Hey, might be, but it's, 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 been, a, it's been a while. We've been casting for a while, but i got to say, uh, it's very possible. I mean, I know they've been tearing it up. Reciprocity has been really giving it the rise at this point. Yeah, I mean, I think a big part of that round two was Sleepy grabbing that M-Bar and making great yeah. use of it, right? Picking up kills kind of all over the place. He stayed alive with it for a long time. So definitely looking to see him uh, kind of at least reciprocity continue to win that mid fight. They won that middle of the, of the map a lot of times in the first half as well. So it's definitely a fight they feel more comfortable with. And if they're still winning that fight, they're going to continue to get away with that M-Bar. He talks on your screen, smokes out in a fight for E. Commencing, he goes full sit into it. and. Kind of dips out a little bit there, missing a couple of shots. Will he be able to get it? And yeah, he finally is going to get the knock and the elimination. His rushies will be taken out. Uh, good start overall for Team Rise. There's only two players up for Reciprocity, Resic and Sleepy. That's who, five. I believe, yeah, they've been knocked and they're down. Easy round for Rise. It's going to be five dead. Icy's going to be all that remains. Let's see if he can try his best to get a touch. It actually looks like he's going to try and sneak to E this, because that D-Hill hasn't been touched yet. He's going to try and make his way over to E. It's not going to matter. The Detox is going to meet him there. Rushy is going to be right behind him. Let's see if Detox can take out not one but two members of Rec as they attempt to break it. Looks like all the resources of Reciprocity have made it over towards E rather than that home hill. The incense grenade has been thrown out. Might even have an effect on his own teammate. Trade's coming in. Drix needs to kill onto Fran. Rushy's answer is back. And Reciprocity lives to breathe in for now. Yeah. Rushy says two in front of him, though. He's gotta go Closes the gap. Is he going to get the first one? Does not shock. Will hop on. Looking to finish off Icy as well. This should surely secure them that neutral hill. Really and while trying. Reciprocity has managed to stay alive in this round, Rise Nation has built a 70-point lead. Yeah, I mean, it's massive. I was just about to point that out. I mean, Rise is taking off. But you know we've seen eliminations come through in a trip cap. Here comes Wreck again. Wreck spawns up and runs once again over that E, trying their best to overwhelm that part of the map because the callout came in that they were down in numbers at that spot. So good job by Reciprocity to make that rotation over there. Now, just like that, there's four dead. And if they have that neutral hill, their home hill's already capped. If they're off to the races, they're running straight towards Rise Nation's home hill. It's so crazy how quickly these rounds can just get away from you. And Reciprocity is showing uh, really a good example of that against Rise Nation. Going over towards D, they capture this, they secure the round, and they tie, just about tie it up. Or actually, they will tie it up 5-5. Five and five, They haven't but, won yet, though. But no, they haven't, and Rice is fighting back. You see bodies dropping left and right. In the meantime, three go down for Rise, four up for Reciprocity, and this should be it. That is it. Oh, no, someone snuck E. Unbelievable. Of Vexy's, or sorry, was that Drix? I think Drix made his way over towards E, saving his team once again. Wow, this is just going back and forth. And I, I got to say, look at the scoreline now. Reciprocity through all that managed to come back. Rice still manages to keep the lead, but now Reciprocity is fighting back. Only one player down for both sides. Now two for Rise, but Reciprocity has been so incredibly close. Can they get it or will the hill be broken? Broken once again. Rise now is going to be pushing forward. Will they be able it's to break up. any hill? And that is going to be it. Reciprocity takes yet another round. Yeah, they won. Unbelievable. Yeah, so just to, to circle back to our other conversation, the Reciprocity has won every single round of the second half so far. And just look at the slang across the board for Reciprocity. Look at the downs. Everyone has almost identical stats. So they are playing so well together as a team. Very, very well-rounded performance. Everyone doing their part. And they are on map point in our grand finals. Unbelievable. Reciprocity, despite all odds against Rise Nation, at least during that last round, managed to come back. Good sneaks all around, looking solid. And now Reciprocity, like you said, one round away from taking this. This is going to be huge for both sides yeah, in the finals. It's only a best of three, Ryan, right? So, I mean, hey, yeah. you're up one round. You have two. You basically have a round you could lose. It, it's kind of like insurance, and then you know you come through and then, and then win the third. Well, and Taylor, this is Rise Nation's map pick. So because Rise Nation's on Swarm, they chose this map. So if you're Reciprocity you're and good. you win your opponent's map pick, that is going to put you in a great spot coming in the map number two. But we still have plenty of map left right now. Three members of Reciprocity go down. Shock gets that M bar. Rise Nation is still very much in this. We've seen them make. Fantastic comebacks in the past. Five members go down on wreck. This should surely be a trip cap attempt coming in for Rise Nation right now as they're hopping to that D hill. They're just waiting for someone to run over towards that F. If you're a Rise fan, you love to see it. Four down for Reciprocity. Now, they're, of course, they're spawning back up. 
Vex is fighting it off. F looks like it oh might be captured. God, and yeah, going big as Vexy says. That is going to secure it for Rise. And they finally win their first round in the second half to bring it 6-5, one round away from tying it and forcing a round 13. Great fights from both sides. Definitely so. This is just th Taylor. Are we going back to round thirteen? Is this just the, the night of round thirteen? I'm here. For, if, honestly, if we are, I'm here for this. This is Don't what this I'm is, here this, for. This. this is going to be our third one we've casted. If it's a round thirteen, almost fourth one, uh, and it would be the It'd be very fitting. It would be the the fifth one of tonight, I do believe, because there was also a thir a round thirteen uh, in one of the semifinal rounds. So against, I believe it was, uh, I believe it was reciprocity versus New Goons. Yeah, so we've just a ton of fantastic matches all night so far. Let's see right now if we do get the round 13 wish, if the dream is still alive. We're hopping on board with Rushies as he heads over towards that E-Hill. Starting to engage some players. Rise Nation opens up with First Blood Shock, taking out Sleepy. Trey's starting to get, sorry, Trey's starting to come in. Three members go down for Reciprocity. Can Rushies equalize the numbers? There's players all around oh. him. He's taken out four dead franchises. All that is left. These are getting long in terms of the spawn timers right now. So this could be definitely a trip cap attempt for Wreck. Oh. Make that five wow. down right now. Someone's going to hop on that F hill and is all up to Sleepy. Let's see if he can get there in time. Oh, it's no. not going to look like he can in Taylor. Yep. Round, Round 13, 13 is upon once us. again. Third one we've casted tonight. We saw two in semifinals, versus Rise versus Hive. And now we are back at it again. And, of course, it is the finals, right? We could expect no less. Reciprocity has got to be feeling the hurt, though. They knew that they were up three rounds over Rise Nation. They won every single round, uh, at least up to a certain point whenever it came to the second half. Now Rise Nation at the cusp, uh, beating Reciprocity in game number one. Rise and Nation. look at what just dropped ice in their veins as they look to make this comeback right now. Let's see who comes out on top in a decisive round 13. The boom shot has yeah, been placed buddy. on Backstreet. You know there's going to be chaos. Reciprocity says bring it on. They feel comfortable in that fight. Now these always get weird when the boom shot is on the yeah. other side of the map from the neutral hill, right? Because the fight goes towards the boom shot, but then you got to remember the hills all the way over on the other side. So let's see how it is. Rushies gets the quick pickup. Detox, I believe, was down on the initial. Yep, Rushies does pick him up. Rolls away, tries his best to say that other boom. Isn't going to do it. Five are dead right now for Reciprocity. Unbelievable. Rise this is going to be a trip cap for Rise Nation. Yeah, this is going to be it. Rise Nation just wins game number one. There's no way that they waste enough time for uh, Reciprocity to come back. Yeah, so that's going to be it. Rise Nation in round 13, despite all odds, comes back. They win, what, four straight rounds almost? Three, Three straight. straight rounds to come through and win against Reciprocity. They will be now up one to zero.